Hey Vinyl Community, great to see you. How you doing today? Welcome, welcome to Beetle Brad's channel. Great to see each and every one of you today. Ah, uh, wow, we got a great one for you today. As you can see by my thumbnail, we're talking about uh, Beetle Mania, actually. Well, that's what we're gonna kind of tie into, of talking about Beetle Mania. Um, in 1964, the Beatles albums were just going off the shelves. They were doing fantastic, and at that time, Capitol really felt as if they could cash in, cash in, <laughs> on what was the big phrase back in 64 was called Beatlemania. So this is way before we had uh, internet. This is way before we had satellite TV systems and all that kind of stuff. This was the way we got our Beatles news. And basically started with this album in America for us was Beatles Story. This was an album that we could get in 64. Kind of uh, with the Beatles talking about all kinds of interviews, clips, discussion with Paul, John, George, and Ringo. Today, this is really, really corny. <laughs> if you've got this album, give it a listen. It's actually quite corny. It really is. They, they ask some some questions about the Beatles and different things, and it's just, you know, very, very cheesy kind of thing. But that that time, this was it. This was the album. This was the one to uh, pick up and find out what was going on with the Beatles. So it was kind of fun. Um, and mine is a, I'm not going to go through all the records because they're black vinyl, but, you know, black regular records, but these were my two records. I didn't buy an original um, this is a much later pressing, but for me, that's fine. It's a stereo copy. It's good. Um, but before all of that, this one was put out, and this is a Beatles tell-all, and this was really a huge, huge thing. It's got all kinds of stuff on here of talking about the Beatles, and this was put out by VJ, which was a small, small company, and they advertised their albums on the back here. VJ was a small company out of Chicago. Um... They basically handled a lot more of the R&B kind of bands, but kind of when the Beatles came about, they decided to jump on with, with Beatles albums. Um, and, and VJ didn't last long, which was sad to say. Uh, but there's some terrific, I, I know I just showed this, but there's some terrific stuff on this for the albums of other VJ items. But this was, this was a little cheesy, too. Um... This is not an original. It's a repress. It's a stereo. Um, and it's kind of neat. But basically, that's what we're talking about today is the Beatles interviews. We've got the albums. We listened to the albums. But back then, it was a really big deal to have interviews with the Beatles. Every city they went to, when they started touring... When the Beatles started in 64, all the way through touring days, they had press conferences back then. They had set up interviews. Where in, they were in Chicago, they, they did a press conference in Chicago. When they were in Japan, they did a press conference in Japan. When they were in Canada, they did a press conference in Canada. So the press conferences were set up all over everywhere, and it was just... They'd show the news clips in the evening, I guess, and they showed different clips on TV um, for the news, different things like that. But it was absolutely fascinating. We have never seen anything like Beatlemania ever again of having a rock band tour and a rock band give press conferences at every each and every stop. Yes, we've had some big artists, and yes, we've had some big tours of a lot of big rock groups, but they haven't had the longevity like the Beatles, and they didn't do press conferences at, at every single stop. So uh, I'm not driving that home. I'm just kind of making a point that that's kind of what they did. So you don't need to type to me and say, oh, but they did a press conference in 96, you know, or something like that. They they weren't together in 96. <laughs> I'm just saying, for instance... So, so it is just kind of my point of saying that they did press conferences, and this was kind of a fun way by getting the press conference albums on vinyl and CD. I've got a lot more to show than what I'm showing, but this is basically kind of a setup idea 
of an interview. This is an excellent one. If you're looking for one, this is on CD and on vinyl as well. Um, and this has kind of also got a very, very nice booklet inside. But this is basically a interview with the Beatles in the later years. So this is like 68, 69, in, th in through there, and 70 and 71. Uh, this is an excellent interview. Uh, the Beatles were very open and very candid about everything. They, they asked them tons of questions in all these interviews. And I'm sure the Beatles got tired of ask, you know, hearing the same questions. They, they almost got very humorous in their uh, discussions. You know, they'd say, oh, when do you think the bubble's going to burst? And Paul would say, oh, we're going to fly away when the bubble does burst. Um, you know, so they asked, they asked, not in this, but just in interviews in general, they did talk about different interviews and saying different things when things are going to happen. Um, and this was a two, two record set as well. Very good. If you're looking for a nice, nice interview, that's a really good one. Then this is a great interview as well. This is an early pressing. I got this a long time ago. Very good. Beatles and Jerry G, I guess, yeah. Uh, or Red Robinson, actually. Excuse me, I'm thinking of another one. Red Robinson. Um, and this is 1964 when they kind of talk about this. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of just interesting stuff to hear. Um, yes, we've collected the vinyl. Yes, we've got the albums. But do you collect the uh, interview albums as well? They, they're just as much fun. This fell down. They're just as much fun collecting as the albums. I like collecting... Sorry about that. Had to, had to set those up. <laughs> um, I like collecting them from all over the world. You know, different pressings of... of uh, that's Red Robinson, what I'm just talking about. You know, different ones, like I said, from Germany and Japan and Australia and, you know, all of those. And this is a more recent interview. Some neat stuff in here. They talked to the Beatles about um, the Beatles themselves. And actually, there's a little bit of discussion in here about Elvis Presley. Hmm, you might have to get this one. Interesting. But yes, this has got a lot of great interviews. Um, I'm really not going to go through and tell you when each one of these were pressed. It's, it's just, it just would take too long and too tedious to say the one I just showed you was pressed from, you know, 83 and this one's from 2012 or, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do all that because it's just, that's just too crazy and too time consuming. But this also came with an insert. Very nice. Um, if you want to look them up, you'll be able to find them on the internet themselves. And the cool thing about this one I just showed, it's on blue. Love the blue vinyl, don't you know? And as you guys watch my channel, you know Beetle Brad loves, loves colored vinyl. <laughs> That's a neat one, isn't it? Beatles interview. Next one up was a kind of a neat one. This is really kind of cool. I still have the original plastic on it. And if you look there, kind of sneakily in the corner, I still have my original price tag. But this had a lot of great interviews on it as well. And lots of times they would sneak in different things. Um, like in one of these interviews I've got where John Lennon, they're doing an advertisement saying, you can buy an authentic real harmonica that the Beatles, you know, duplicated and made and, and you know, it's kind of an advertisement of buying a uh, harmonica like, like John Lennon played on his albums and stuff. So there's commercials on here. Not, not this one, but one of the other ones. There's different commercials on that one. Um, and it's just, just the regular, just the regular album. There isn't anything colored about that. Uh, but these were kind of neat. These were in a couple series. There's there's several of those. Um, and this is part of that series. This is also an original in the plastic as well. That's that's kind of a neat picture. Like it. Yeah. 
Um, but these were really cool. I really liked these a lot. I thought these were great. And these came out probably in the 80s, I would say. Um, if you want to pause on your own and kind of read these over, what's on them. See, and then it advertises two other ones. But this is, this is really neat. This is a great interview as well. I bought this originally. Actually, I bought this when I was on a trip with my mom and dad. And I bought that in Chicago when it came out originally. Yeah, good old mom and dad. Kind of a neat, kind of a neat inner, inner picture. You really don't see stuff like that too much anymore. This is kind of back when they're a little bit more creative with, with doing vinyl. Just black vinyl on that one. But the interviews were all fascinating. I've also got a lot of interviews on DVD and transferred them from VHS to DVD as well. So I'll make show some of those also. Um, this is really a good one. This is great. I, I really haven't run across an interview that I really didn't like. I know I keep saying this is good, this is good, but this, is, this has got some great stuff on it as well. Um, you know, anybody who's kind of a Beatle maniac, and I guess that would clarify me, <laughs> it's kind of, kind of fun. See, and then there's that label again. It's kind of fun to hear more interviews of the Beatles. Um, that's kind of exciting and fun. Uh, this is a terrific picture. I love that one a lot. That's really cool. Beatles interview. Um... And this has got some really neat, neat, rare pictures. This one I would think is probably one of my top favorite interview albums. If you're looking to get a Beatles interview album, you say, oh, Beatle Brad, I really don't know that much about interviews, never thought about them. They're kind of fun. I would go for the black one that I showed earlier and possibly this one. Um, those two would probably be top on, on your list to get. Maybe you've got this in your collection and you say, yeah, you know, you're right. It is, it is a good one. And it's <laughs> back to that label again, because those are the ones that kind of followed along with the same kind of, um, records. And there's this one, and this is still, sorry about the glare. This is in the original... Uh, shrink wrap. I love this picture. I always thought that was kind of a neat, rare picture. It was kind of a BBC um, kind of picture that was used. The backing on this. And this is this has got a nice one. But yeah, this this has got more music and stuff instead, really. Um, but it's kind of a good one. Kind of falls along the lines of some of the other other interviews that I was showing. And that's kind of neat. Just seeing if you're paying attention really doesn't follow along with the rest of the other ones is in interviews. But the Beatles did some terrific interviews. Um, there's a ton, ton of them out there on YouTube. Take a look on YouTube of Beatle interviews and it's just fascinating of, of the excitement and the, and the craziness of, of what was back then of Beatlemania. And Beatlemania just continued through 64, 65, 66. I mean, they just, the press conferences, I mean, they just went from one press conference to the other. I've got interviews where John's saying, you know, what town are we in? What is this? And then the guy, someone in the crowd who's doing an interview will yell out, you know, you're in Chicago. You know, oh, okay. You know, <laughs> it's like California. Oh, all right. You know. They were so shifted around and moved and all that that they kind of lost track of even where they were. It was just crazy stuff, that's for sure. Um, but I've got a lot more to show. I just kind of wanted to start, kick this off with a uh, interview of some of the albums I've got. I've got a lot more albums and CDs and some other surprises of some interviews, but uh, let me know what you thought about this. Thank you very much for those that are my new subscribers and my older subscribers. Glad to see each and every one of you. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get to answer a lot of your questions earlier. It took me a couple days. I want to apologize for that. My computer got hacked into and I had to go get it taken to a shop and get it erased. And that was several days on getting that done. So I apologize to all of you that it took me so long to get to your to your videos. 
and answer to my past video and I'm still catching up on your videos so don't forget I'm still still I'm still coming after you <laughs> um, still in my chemo medicine that's going okay but a lot of side effects um, very tired so I'm gonna try and get videos when I can uh, I'm just feeling sluggish and tired and not feeling like doing much of anything but uh, just letting you know, health-wise, uh, for those of you who don't know, I've got a cancer in my stomach, and they, they need to shrink it with medicine, so I'm doing chemo every day. Um, so that's pretty intense, and they hope to take it out by next, next year in the summer. So, But I'll keep you up to date of things that are going on. But like I said, just tired, not really feeling that great. Um, kind of really had to pull myself together to do this video. Um, I'm glad to do it, but um, just kind of feel like sitting on the couch and watching TV. And when I do, I fall asleep. So just kind of taking it easy and resting. But hopefully you can watch this video and rest. Don't fall asleep during the video. <laughs> but I uh, hope you enjoyed my segment on Beatlemania and the touring and interviews. Glad to see each and every one of you. Like I said, my new subscribers. Hello, new subscribers, and my old subscribers. Glad to have you along, each and every one of you. Hello, my old subscribers. <laughs> but I'm still doing well, still doing things great, still out and about buying vinyl, just doing it a lot slower. But all right, vinyl community, glad to see each and every one of you. Thank you for commenting down below. Subscribe to my channel. You will not be surprised of some of the things. Well, you will be surprised. <laughs> I said it wrong. <laughs> Let me jump over that before I mess it up again. You'll be surprised of some of the stuff I've got coming up. I have got some things planned. Got some trips planned. And you will be surprised. It will be only on Beetle Brad's channel. So comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Keep watching, Vinyl Community. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are family to me. It's not just a vinyl community of, of showing my collectibles and giving you ideas on what to buy and what not to buy and all that kind of stuff. It is a tight family, and we in the vinyl community, there's a lot of us that appreciate you guys too. And thank you very much. So as I keep rambling on, I should be going, shouldn't I? All right, vinyl community. As I say on my channel, I'm out of here. Take care, everybody. Good to see you.